Good morning. So we are back. It's another beautiful day. I think at around 20 degrees outside. It's a nice day. And today we have a Samsung tablet. This is a Samsung Tab S. It's T800. What's the problem with this tablet? The problem with this tablet, and I booked in wrong the job. I said probably it's a software issue, but it's not. It's restarting itself. So from time to time, or when you, I don't know, randomly the tablet is just restarting. On the beginning, I was thinking it's a software problem. But after I, uh, well, I saw on the screen it's restarting always with different percentage on the battery. So that was like, if this is percentage on the battery, should be something wrong with the battery. Obviously, it's different voltage if it's if it's different percentage on the battery. Like now, now we're like twenty five percent. I don't know if you can see 25, but no, you can't see nothing. 25. So if it's always is different, it's something related with the battery. Just ignore the crack screen. The tablet comes with the crack screen, but that's not the problem. The problem is, is it's it's the restarting thing. So if you are using the tablet on some point, the tablet will restart or what I found now, if you move the tablet or if you smash the tablet, if you on some point, the tablet will get restarted. Now it's not happen anymore. You see, the, after 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 I booked in the job, I see the tablet is sensible on the mechanical things, you know, mechanical vibration. So you see the tablet is on now. now let's check the battery percentage. Already I found the fault. I just I just want to explain what can be if you have this problem, this issue. It's very tricky. Oh, so look, now the battery is low. And I have 4% on the battery. Oh, you can't see. Well, anyway, 4%. Let's go and check under the microscope. And you can't even see the any... I, 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 I check the board, you know, and you can't see nothing. What's happening with this one? Okay, microscope. So under the microscope, everything looks fine. What I uh, what I was looking on the battery side, but on the battery side, everything looks fine. And you know what? I even try to move the wires, touch the board and the connector and everything, and the tablet was still working. Let me see. Yeah, it's still on. Well, let me show you something. Let's check on the battery thing. Let's take the battery out. Check, check, check this connector, yeah? You see, it's, it's strong. I can bend the wire, yeah, but on the other side, let me leave the connector. So look what's happened here. Let me go closer. Maybe you can see better. Yeah, you have to see from the angle. You see the problem? So check here. 
let me try them from different angle yeah probably like that you see that's the problem so it's not solder at all the connector is not solder yeah that's the problem but what's very tricky you know because even if it has no pin solders it's, it's, it's just um, the connector is just touching by the wire pressure so that that's the thing uh yeah and only if you like hit hard the tablet even though i think it's working now probably now i move too much the connector but let's solder that connector quickly but it's tricky it's very tricky <laughs> So we have two pins together, the plus are together, the two minus plus are together. But yeah, this time I was, I was wrong. I booked in the job for software. I was so sure it's like software issue if it's restarting. Because, because if it's if it's a, a hardware issue, the tablet goes off, but it's not coming on. But this tablet goes off and and is coming on by itself. So that that's why I I, I was wrong. I don't understand even now how it's possible, but yeah, it is possible. Yeah, this time I was wrong. And I don't like to be wrong. So these two pins can be together. It's even better if they are together. I just want to be sure our solder on the on the button. Okay. Right, that looks good. And these two can be together. I found this issue on different tablets, but when it's off, when the tablet when this tablet is it's off, it's going off, it's just staying off. But this one not. Oh, I need more hit. I need more hit.
You know what is good enough for me? Let's clean the area. Let's try. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check the voltage. Let's check the voltage. Minus plus, we have zero. One point three. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you see, you see, that's happen when you are getting gold. So, like how I soldered the plus, I touch to the ground, and the battery goes dead or probably the battery is protecting by itself so let's put some power yeah we can see on the power supply is taking 3 amps oh why wow. what I'm doing what I'm doing here 3 amps yeah now should be fine Yeah, it is fine. Yeah. So that's the worst case. That's the worst thing. What we can do to work with the power on the on the tablet. But anyway, I was holding the the battery connector. So the only affected things can be the battery. And I know the battery has a protective uh, board inside of the battery. Mm. And the battery has 44%. You can see 44 on the corner. I think you can see. Yeah. So keep in mind, if you have this problem with Samsung Galaxy Tab S, that can be. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and see you later.